Hello everyone. First of all, let me tell you that when I saw that the judge denied HCMC's request for an extension, I was pretty shocked until I read the order and Philip Morris's response. But before I get into that, the bottom line is that tomorrow, Friday, August 6th, is still the deadline for HCMC to file their motion to get permission to file an amended complaint. Nothing has changed there. The extension was to get two additional weeks to work on it. They didn't get it. So tomorrow is the day. The deadline to file is midnight, so we could see it during the day or long after the market closes. They still get their chance. That hasn't changed. They just have to turn it in on time. But that's what they knew before last week as well. So nothing's really different. But let's get back to this madness. Let me preface this all by saying this is already turning into a crazy tornado of allegations and misinformation. So please, please try to stay calm and think about things before you go running all over Twitter and Reddit, stock twits, whatever, accusing the stock of being a scam or the lawyers being washed up. There's a lot of stuff going on that none of us can even begin to know what's happening. We can't know what's in their heads uh, of the companies, of the lawyers, of the judge. So it's all speculation. It can be a little dangerous, especially when we're talking about financial situations. Maybe that stuff's true. Maybe it's not. But let's at least look analytically at what we can see from the facts from the public documents first before we let emotions take over. With all that being said, let's talk about why the judge didn't give HCMC more time to file their motion. If you read Philip Morris's response to the motion, which was filed earlier today, you'll see all kinds of crazy allegations that HCMC is abusing and misleading investors, that the SEC should come and investigate all this. Why would they say that? Because Philip Morris believes that you are a bunch of, quote, unsophisticated investors, end quote. They actually use that in their response. And they don't believe that you know what you're doing. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel personally attacked by that. To try and prove that point, Philip Morris attached all sorts of interesting exhibits to their response, like some articles about meme stocks like GameStop and AMC and how those are being uh, manipulated in the market by retail investors and some of the investor relations communications that HCMC sent out to everybody. Now, what's hilarious to me is that they even attached a Reddit post from the HCMC stock subreddit of a user's assessment of the stock as a buy, a bullish sign. I love seeing pop culture stuff like Reddit and legal documents. You did it, the Lord Bruno. Good job. But here's the thing. Philip Morris put that there for a reason. It wasn't to call the SEC and alert them about some sort of securities fraud allegation. It was to piss you off so that you'd stop supporting their opponent. They called you unsophisticated so that they knew that if they came out strong, you'd see it and freak out and probably even dump the stock and harm their opponent even more. Now, based on what I've seen on Twitter and Reddit so far today, holy heck, it's working. Calm down, people. But then again, the stock went up a little bit as the news spread, so maybe it isn't working as much as I think. Moving on, in the last video, I talked about how Philip Morris wanted some weird kind of agreement with HCMC in exchange for agreeing to the extension that they requested. We now know what those terms were. Philip Morris was already planning for how they were going to get back their attorney's fees after HCMC loses their motion to get that amended complaint in there. They're already looking ahead to HCMC's failure. Of course, HCMC wouldn't agree to any of that. Here's the real argument that's at the core, and it's surprisingly reasonable. The bulk of Philip Morris's real argument is based on how HCMC has been communicating with all of us, with the public, throughout this whole case. In particular, how HCMC has been communicating with everybody about how they were going to respond to that motion to dismiss. They basically told everyone that they were going to file it on time. They said, remember a couple Fridays ago, that in a press release, HCMC said that, quote, HCMC intends to do so by said deadline. They told the world that they would file their motion by tomorrow, August 6th. Philip Morris is basically asking the court to hold HCMC to their word. And essentially, if HCMC told everyone that tomorrow their lawyers were going to file that motion, then what could the lawyers possibly have said as a reason to delay it? The public already knows. HCMC already told everybody they were going to file tomorrow. The judge agreed with this. Now, I don't know if the lawyers told HCMC to issue that public statement. They probably didn't. But what you put out there to the world matters. That PR was very specific. It said they'd meet the deadline. The PR team probably shot the lawyers in the back there. Sometimes your client does dumb stuff, and it makes your job really hard. It happens a lot. Why do you think we always tell people not to talk to police, not to say you're sorry if you do something wrong, and not to give extra information without being asked for it? Everything you say will be used against you. 
not just in the court of criminal law, but in civil law, like this case. And here's another instance of that. Okay, all that aside, here's what really matters. The deadline hasn't changed. The ability for HCMC's legal team to file a motion that covers all the issues and gets everything through to the next step, that hasn't changed either. Philip Morris's legal team is getting pretty angry and they're showing it. They're starting to involve you, the investors. That's something that's really new. Tomorrow, Friday, August 6th, is what matters with this whole case. No matter which side you're on, which, whether you're an investor or not, if you're following this case, tomorrow's a big one. The motion that HCMC has to file by tomorrow night is everything. So let's wait to see what that says. Man, HCMC and their lawyers are probably going to be talking a lot more about getting on the same page after this one. So let's look towards tomorrow. I'm ready to read the motion, analyze it, talk to all of you about it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Come and hang out in the Discord to talk about this stuff live. And I've also posted many of the case documents in there for you to read, including that Reddit post by the Lord Bruno. And imagine getting a Reddit post attached to a legal document in a court case. What a world, right? Do your own full due diligence, make informed financial decisions, and it sounds like I'll see you all this weekend.